Well, hi everybody, and welcome back to my shop. Yeah, I'm continuing on the Westinghouse 1398. What I've been doing uh, off camera is I've been studying the alignment instructions, and here they are: this page and this page. Th this page is the FM alignment. It's very small, so I just want to read one line to you. Here it says. Uh, Well, one thing it says, the alignment should not be touched unnecessarily. And it warns that signal strength is not uh, a good reason for doing the alignment, the FM alignment. It's tonal quality that should trigger it. I've looked through these instructions. You know, I don't have the equipment necessary. I, I, I have a scope, but I don't have a... Uh... Hey, or do I? Yeah. Well, my scope has a, a ramp output. But my signal generator has no input for doing sweeps, so I can't do any sweep work. And I think that means I better stay the heck away from the FM alignment, at least for now. The AM alignment is all written on this diagram here. And it's, it's so small a gain, but for instance it says here operation 1, operation 2, and it points to the coil or capacitor that needs adjusting. So, I mean, it's not too hard to do an AM alignment, and I'm pretty sure I can follow these instructions. I have the equipment to do it. So I think what we're going to do right now is set the radio up to do an alignment on the AM side, and uh, and maybe even start the process here. So, first confusing thing, though, is this line right here. Perform operations in numerical order as shown. Connect signal generator through a 1 millifarad condenser or capacitor for operation 1 only. Connect signal generator to converter grid through, and I cannot make out what that says. I'll show it on a better magnifier and see if we can figure it out for all the rest of the operations. So it says, for operations 2 to 14, connect it to the grid of the converter tube. And for operation 1, don't do that. But it doesn't say what to do. It doesn't tell you where to connect the uh, signal generator. Now, the first operation is the IF transformer. It says adjust at 460 kilocycles. So, okay, so it sounds to me like that could be connected to the to the converter grid too, so I don't understand why they say don't do that, and they don't say where to connect it. You know, I could throw it on the antenna and just feed it in that way and see if the IF signal makes it through to the to the IF. That usually works. Um, just it's just a little unnerving to read instructions that seem to have holes in them, and you're left to kind of guess what you know read between the lines. So maybe we'll fiddle around a little bit and uh, to make sure we have a nice. Uh, IF signal going through it. These are some uh, uh, waveforms you would see on your scope during the FM alignment. There's, that's the setup of the equipment there. And this is just a reminder of uh, tubes and which pins are what. It's very, very handy. I'm a little disappointed with uh, the very first stage of this alignment. So that's why we might have to fill around before we really get going on this, on this guy. So I'll switch on my signal generator here. Get that going. I don't think we need the scope. We need the uh, my. Uh, we'll, need, we'll need to use one, one of these two meters. Let me try this one because this one's more easy to see on the camera. You know, I did say, I think in my last video, it's a beautiful day. What am I doing in here? Well, it is a beautiful day outside. But I'd really like to give this thing a shot on the AM alignment. So at least go to the next step, and then I'll reconsider what I'm going to do the rest of today. So uh, in doing that, let's hook up our uh, signal generator. I'm sorry, our uh, voltmeter here. I don't think you can quite see it. 
Yeah, it's a little out of view here. Doesn't matter because right now it's reading nonsense until I get it connected, get everything going. So we're going to connect the leads to the voice coil on the speaker. You know, you can do these things by ear, but it really is much, much better to put them on a, on a meter and watch the meter. Now the signal generator output is supposed to go either onto the antenna input or, you know, I'm used to connecting it to the grid of the converter tube, even though this clearly says... You know what it might be saying here? Oh yeah, I was going to show you something with a better magnifier to see if we can't figure out what it says. So let me put on my better magnifier here. Okay, so right here. Connect signal generator to converter grid through a 0.48. What is that? UMY. You know, I don't know, up here you can see the, uh, up here beside the word condenser it says 0.1 millifarad condenser. That's really clear. Here it says a 4.8 U, looks to me like MY, an UMI. I have no idea what that is. So I'm going to assume what it's really, you know, and another thing too is, and I didn't get this. Operation 4, broadcast RF coil, adjust at 600 kilocycles. Okay, but down here in this list, Operation 4 appears in this list where it's saying connect the generator to the converter grid, which in my mind is after, after the RF coil. So a little mysterious here, uh, what's going on? And 600? You're gonna... Well... I could see... I don't know. Let's just take it one step at a time and we'll have to maybe use our imagination a little bit on this one. It'd be nice if I could get a better better angle on this. I need to mount the camera much, much higher yet. Hmm, how could I do that? Okay, I've got the camera set up for a bird's eye view here of what's going on. This is the meter that's going to be showing the output. And uh, this is the audio signal generator. The frequency, the higher frequency RF generator is a little higher. I think it's out of view. Yeah, it's just above all this. And the frequency counter is right here, and I don't know if that's being picked up on camera enough that you can actually read the numbers. So, let's, uh, let's switch on the radio, do a little safety check here, make sure everything's good to go, and it is. So first we'll start with the signal generator connected to the antenna, which is probably not the right thing. But let's just do that because it's so easy to do. Turn down the volume. Okay, so the IF frequency on this radio is uh, 460. So we'll dial up 460 here. I'm watching this. Yeah, 
a bit of volume. There we go. Well, it's coming through there, but so is lots of other stuff. Give it a little more strength and it'll probably overwhelm the other. It's like 456 is the peak. Okay. Let's try this. See, I'm using a metal screwdriver, usually not recommended, but in many cases it doesn't actually make any difference. So, following the instructions. Adjust this guy. You know, i got to tip the radio up. Doggone it. Not something I like doing with it switched on, but I'm going to clip it up. Just the block, get this cord out of here. There we go. I have to get at the bottom of these IF cans if I'm going to tune them. So it's going to be awkward one way or the other. corner off my bench here. That's a little bit better. There we are. Okay. A little harder for you to see what I'm doing on the back of it now, but you need to keep your eye on the meter. Let me turn a little volume on. I'm not seeing much of the signal coming from the signal generator yet. Well, I think that's giving an unsatisfactory result, so we're going to disconnect and turn it down. We're not going to feed through the antenna. I just don't like the. Uh, I don't like the result. Too much signal coming in on the antenna line too. So we'll we got to figure out the grid, the converter tube. And I believe the converter tube is the. Six S A seven. And the grid would be. Oh, I'm not going to be able to read the pin number. And it would be a snap to figure that out if I hadn't lost my tube manual, which I'd misplaced. And I've been looking for it for like almost a month now. And so I put it somewhere dumb. And I can't find it. 
cooking. So I got to go and investigate this.